Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Benita McHale. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Today, unlike anything I've done so far on my channel, instead of buying six perfumes, 50 ml, 100 ml bottle, I actually have some samples here of some perfumes that I've been interested in, wanting to try, or I may have like the oil version but not the original perfume and I wanna see how they compare. Before I commit to the 100 milliliter, 50 ml bottle, y'all know I'm a glutton for punishment. I have a playlist linked here of perfumes that I blind bought. Some have worked out well, some not so much. So I'm trying to be a little more responsible and trying some perfumes out, sampling them before I commit, especially because some of these are very expensive. And I'm, if I'm going to be paying that type of price point, I need to make sure it's what I actually want and not something that I actually don't like. So before that, I get into that. You know I have to thank my beautiful new subscribers. You guys are absolutely the best. I don't deserve y'all. Y'all are so great. I'm on a journey to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. Am I gonna make that? Who knows? We'll see. I won't be disappointed either way. I'm happy for everyone that I have and I've gained along the way. Um, so if you see this and you want to support, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And yeah, I think that's all. Let's get into it. So I believe I picked one, two, three, four. I picked five four five samples okay so this is lyra by zerjoff i think that's how you say it that's so little i have never seen a bad thing about this perfume i think this is the one they'd be like it smells like a lemon cookie so we'll see if they were lying or not anytime anytime that's the only thing I don't like about it. Why do they put it like this? When you open it, you're going to spill half the bottle. It's only one milliliter. Give me a spray nozzle. Goodness. Okay. Oh, my God. This smells like iced lemon pound cake. The girls wasn't lying about this one. <laughs> yeah, that smells like iced. You know the little lemon loaf you can get from Starbucks? Yeah. The notes are blood orange, bergamot, lavender, cinnamon, licorice, jasmine, caramel, vanilla, and musk. I do enjoy this. I like this. I hate to say it, but I think I'm going to have to get the full bottle of this. Woo! Baby girl is expensive. She costs a pretty penny. Maybe I'll just start off with the oil. Like an oil perfume dupe. If you haven't seen, I have, do have a video of some oil, oil haul that I did. I'm big into oils. I don't care if they're the real thing or not. Like, I just want to smell good and oils help you with that process. So, if you want to check that out, I'll link that there. But I do enjoy this. Maybe I should wear a little more to see if it's like projecting. Can other people smell it on me before I commit to that price? But at least I know that I like it. So this is Love Don't Be Shy. So I have the perfume oil of this and I'm absolutely in love with this. Like the perfume oil. So I want to know does the perfume give me what the uh, oil does. Because the oil is gets me together. They do these so dumb. Hmm. Let me find out the perfume will smell better than the perfume. Okay, this is good. And I do like it. I will commit to the full bottle, but I'm not in a rush because to be honest, the perfume oil smells way better. Especially for fragrant body oils. I have like two or three hauls from them. Um, the perfume oil is like... Ah, it's just it's killing this. It is good though. But... In my opinion, and who am I? Nobody. But in my opinion, if you had, had to choose between spending $100 on the perfume or spending $10 or $15 on the perfume oil, for this one, I would 100% say, girl, just get the perfume oil. The notes for love don't be shy. Oh, they have a lot. Um, neroli, bergamot, pink pepper, coriander, orange blossom, jasmine, honeysuckle, rose, iris, sugar, vanilla, caramel, musk, civet. That's an animal. That got a picture of an animal. And love, mm, I can't even say that word. Mm -mm, I can't even try that. My tongue just got caught up trying to say that. That is love, don't be shy. So this is Instant Crush by Mancera. I literally never see a bad thing about this perfume. 
um one of the, one of the girls that i follow on tiktok i think i pretty much trust her recommendations her name is i think it's the cherries tv on tiktok um everything that she's recommended that she's been like girl no girl you got to have it i've gotten it and it's been like no girl you gotta have it so i pretty much trust her recommendations i think she's on youtube too can't get this bottle open i done got hot My camera done got hot come on bottle you can open I do like this. I, get, I don't know if I feel like I have to have it. Um, let's see what the notes are. However, if this is one that's gone, I like things that people can always smell. I like when I walk into a room, everybody can smell me. So if it's gonna give me that type of vibe, then I'll I'll just get it. <laughs> Saffron, ginger, Sicilian mandarin, Sicilian bergamot, amberwood, Moroccan rose, Egyptian jasmine, Indonesian patchouli leaf. Madagascar, vanilla, white musk, sandalwood, and oak moss. So I think this is definitely more so for fall and winter. I like it. This kind of reminds me of that ebony wood from Zara that I need to review. I just can't find where I put it. This is definitely not a feminine perfume. It definitely leans more masculine. I'm okay with that. Um, I don't want it to smell like cologne, but I don't mind a, a musky or a woody smell to my perfume. Um... It's not on my must-have list right now, though. For sure, it's not a must-have. I'm glad I smelled it first before I bought the um, bottle because Mancera, that one is kind of expensive, too. I like it, though. If I happen to come across it on sale, I'd probably buy it. But for right now, it's not a must-have for me. This is Dear Polly by... I don't know if you pronounce this Wilhelm or Wilhelm Perfumery. Um. Oh. So this is bergamot apple, black tea, black amber, musk, and oak moss. I actually enjoyed this. It's probably a, light, a little bit lighter than I would have expected. Let me pour it somewhere else. Just to make sure that I'm smelling what I'm smelling. I really like that actually. Dang it. I really like that. And I'm not into fresh, but I've been discovering... That if it's fresh, but it's like a citrusy fresh, then I'm kind of into it low-key. Dang it, I like this. It is Mango Skin. I really hope that I like this because I see so many, so many, so many good things about this one. The perfume girlies be hyping this up. Hopefully, this lives up to the hype. And I got this from Scent Split, by the way. I don't know if I... I don't like it. Mm-mm. I don't like that. I don't like that. That smells musty. I don't like that. If this what authentic mango is, baby, give me a fake one. Mm -mm. Mm. I don't like that. I'm so glad I smelled this before I bought this one. So this is mango, orange, violet, frangipani, mango blossom, ylang ylang, black currant, musk, red wine, and that animal again. What is up with y'all animals? Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Let me just smell it one more time. Oh, well. <laughs> the whole thing just fell. Well. So much for that one. And it's all over my hands and everything. Now it's going to be on the carpet. And this is one of the ones I didn't like. It's something in here that I don't like. I want to like it because I want a good mango perfume in my collection. But. I think I'm going to have to find something else in my collection that I like because that ain't going to be it. Okay, so the everything that I got, the only ones that I feel like I actually want to purchase for a bottle of is going to be Lyra, Dear Polly, and eventually I'll get around to Love Don't Be Shy. I don't, it's not like a need need right now because like I said, I have the perfume oil, but that mango skin, like I said, it fell everywhere. It's something sour or tart about it that I don't like. That's not what I imagine when I think of mango. Like, it's not that. There is a mango in there, but there's also something that's tart that I don't like. Um, Instant Crush is okay. If, like I said, if I see and they have it on sale, like a good sale, I'll incorporate it. But, three. So, let me know what you guys think. Do you prefer this? Do you want more samples? Um, let me know what you think. Do you have any of these? Are you going to think about buying some of these? What's some that you want to smell or sample? Drop that in the comments. Meet me in the comments in the after party. Just kidding. Um, and let me know what you guys think. 
as always subscribe if you like my content my channel you want to support go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that is all i'll see you on my next one